Hello ladies and gents, Azagai here, bringing to you another video for the English version of Naruto Online, published by Oasis Games. We're looking at the events for the 14th of September, 2017. For our weekly Strong Ninjas, we have Samui, I, Third Raikage, and Amoi. Or Moi. Well, Honestly, um, I had a quick look. There's no new treasure, um, but all three of these will be available in, I do believe, in a treasure, um, in a Land of Lightning treasure. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. So, for our first event for this week, we have the Konoha Great Tree. So, um, it will have, yeah, so the Konoha will have its own icon in the Maid HUD. Players can obtain dew drops by clearing trials in survival trials, participating in arena or clearing team instances. Buying daily packs will also earn players dew drops. Bless the lucky tree using dew drops, coupons, or ingots to obtain points and items or fortune co coins. Um, then you can use the points and uh, points and fortune coins can be redeemed in different shops in the event. Huh? Looks like there's sorry, there's fortune, there's the fortune coin shop, and you have the point shop from. I think that's what it means. Then it says the lucky tree will level up when a given amount of points is reached. Players, all players from a given um, from a given same server, can obtain items from the world tree. Its level is related to the amount of points of all players from a single server. Um, so, yeah, just a reminder, dew drops and fortune coins will be reset to zero at the end of the event. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, the event period for this will be September se um, 14th to September 20th, so that's all seven days. Servers that open after, um... September 14th cannot take part in this event. Strange. Okay, so for number two we have Treasure of the Sage. Event period from September 14th to September 20th. We have complete, <coughs> so basic just um, Sage keys give you the opportunity to open up um, sage treasures, which gives you um, either four out of four items to choose from, giving various amounts of discounts. Can be purchased with ingots or coupons. Um, complete plot or elite instances to get sage keys. You can get a maximum of five free keys daily. The sage keys can be bought in the time limited shops as well. Um, a note stating that sage keys will be reset to zero if um, at the event at the end of the week. Um, use sage keys to open treasure of the sage. When you open it you will receive random rewards. So yeah, you'll get um, when you open treasure you get a random reward, either ten coupons, one mood scroll, three I think this is martial pills, one purification rune, or a single Naruto sage mode fragment. Um, after opening the treasure, four random items will appear with different discounts. By refreshing, you can get different items and different discounts. Also, you can get random rewards by refreshing the valuables in the treasure. Players can get a maximum discount of 50%. It's time to get Minato Namikaze Jonin and other awesome rewards. If you wish to get him and upgrade it stars, have a try. Wish you all the good luck. Just 
so that everyone remembers that when the wording here is very precise, a lot of people will think that you can get um, up to 50% discount on everything, which is not true. Um, I, I pretty sure that um, most of these really expensive um, ninjas will only have a maximum of 30% discount. So just for your information, whenever the Sage of um, Treasure of the Sage event is on, just check with the help icon at the top of the event interface and that will tell you and that will tell you which um, which items have um, which items and their maximum discounts for them so yeah always a good idea to have a check at that help icon so don't get confused and so don't get confused with thinking that you can get 50% off of uh, Minoto Namakaze because you probably can't for our third event we have Myoboku Trials event period goes from September 7th, September 14th to September 20th um, requirements players must reach level 30 in order to participate and <clears throat> as normally as normal the Myoboku trials are broken up into three sections the first section is the login gifts um, for the 14th you get coins times 20,000 Cultivation rune times 2,000, Purification rune times 2. For the second day, um, for the 15th, you get Stamina Potion small times 2, Dango times 5, Purification protection rune times 2. 16th, Cave key times 2, Cultivation rune times 2,000, Purification rune times 2. For the 17th, you get coins times 2,000, I mean, sorry. You, for the 17th, you get coin times 20,000, barbecue times 5. Interesting! Naruto skill book for Shadow Clone Jutsu. Wow, that's very. Um, I'm not sure what to say. That's, um, that's very unique, to say the least. Not that many people actually use it, but it's still very interesting that they are giving out um, the skill books even though there's only what six um, skill skill book ninjas so far 18th we have mood scroll times two stamina potions small times one purification rune times three I I never really like these the small versions they only give you 10 stamina which is one um, instance but hell it's free stuff so what you're gonna do 19th dango times 5 cultivation rune times 2000 purification protection rune times 3 20th coins times 20,000 cave key times 2 and naruto skill book giant rasengan very interesting. Both um, you have two Naruto skill books that they're going to give us for the second section. You have the Miyoboku Trials. So it's like a mini game. So click play. A hammer should be visible in the in this interface. Move your hammer and pick a cylinder you wish to target. After the minigame starts, the needle will start moving from left to right. When the needle is in the perfect area, be fast to click. And perfect! One of the cylinders will be sent flying. The more cylinders you clear, the quicker needle will move and the perfect area will start to shrink. So, this yellow part here is the perfect area. You'll have a hammer, and it will highlight which um, any of the cylinders you kind of mouse over when you click. Um, so you'll have something like a bar 
going across from left to right you click and if you get it in, uh, if you click while the bar is in this area you basically clear the cylinder it's very simple um, it's very simple in the game the best way to do this is start from the um, aim for the bottom one all the time and if you miss just alternate to the other side and keep going you'll never lose really um, you can claim the rewards for each cylinder that you clear it is game over if Naruto's head falls before you have cleared all the cylinders every player has three daily attempts Hooray! and then for the third part of Ryoboku Trials is the Wheel of Offering honestly speaking for a hundred coupons getting any of these is actually really good except for the five rainbow mangatamas um, pretty much the lowest pretty much the lowest out of all of these um, out of all of these things these I believe are the charm material packs if I remember correctly this blue one is the tactics um, the tactics page ones where you get 10 and you can select and this one is probably either a level f I believe it might be a level 5 or a level 6 Mangatama or it could be one of the rune stones but yeah any of these for 100 coupons is great so I, I would always recommend just doing this wheel once any more than that is probably a waste so you coupons or ingots to um, spin the wheel click start and wait to see what rewards you'll get every time you spin the wheel different coupons slash ingot quantities will be asked in order to continue spinning generally speaking the more coupons slash ingots you use the higher the chance of getting a better reward if you use a thousand coupon slash ingots to spin it, it is almost impossible that you will get a level 2 rainbow Makatama. Um so it gives an example saying that the first spin will only cost you a hundred but the second spin will then ask you for three hundred and it will keep increasing every time you spin So yeah, um, the more times you spin the wheel, the better the, re the rewards can be. At the same time, the more times you spin the wheel, the more the coupons slash ingots you will have to use in order to continue sp in order to continue spinning it. One spin gets you one reward, but you cannot get the same reward twice in a s in the same day. The spins and the coupons and ingots required to spin the wheel will be reset every day. However, the rewards are the same for all days of this event. Players can spin the wheel up to eight times a day. You can only spin up to eight times a day because there's only eight rewards, and every and it resets daily. In total, for Group trials. It, it's an honestly a pretty good event. Two of them are completely free to play. The last wheel of offering is pretty good efficiency. As long as you can get, as long as you get something else besides the five rainbow magatamas. For our fourth event, we have Konoha's gift shop. Um, basically a, <coughs> basically in the name, it's a shop. So you can purchase Rainbow Magatama level 5, Rainbow Magatama level 2, Runes Packet Lucky Pack. Wow, have not seen that one before. Um, not sure what they are, but they might be they might be the Yeah, it says rune packets, so I believe it might be for the um for the 
summon cultivation. Then you have the deluxe key pack, the lucky key pack. Deluxe key pack should be something like probably a, a lot of keys. Ten for the key packs, deluxe key pack. Hmm. Deluxe key pack. It doesn't it doesn't particularly state whether or not it's the Kate keys. So, um, I I like to believe that these are that the deluxe and lucky key pack are for cave keys, but we'll have to see. The ceremonial kimono fragments, the wild west fragments, Hashirama wood style create tree breaker, which is a skill book, and the second and the second one as well. They're both skill books for Hashirama's standard attack. Then you have the special charm material pack. That's everything that's available that will be available for the gift shop from what we can read here. We also have the sorry. <coughs> number five, we have the time limited shop. So during the event players can get points by logging in, clearing instances and spending ingots. Rewards are waiting for you. Event period September 14th to September 20th. Requirements. Players must have reached level 2045 in order to participate. A player can obtain one point by logging in daily and can obtain more points by completing plot and elite instances. By spending 10 ingots a day, you will also get one point. I believe it just means that for every 10 ingots you spend, you get one point, but if you only get one point for spending the first 10 ingots every day, that would be kind of, kind of counterproductive since you want people to spend more. Um, remember to use your points before the deadline ends. Points, so your points will be reset to zero at the end of the event. Players can also redeem the following rewards in this event. Omoi fragments, Samui fragments, Naruto Ninetail Chakra fragments, Summoning scrolls, Summon contract, and Advanced thread. There's no real point to Summon contract at this point, for what we understand, for what I understand, sorry is that the summon contract just allows you to summon um, something like a pet out on the world map. It's just a pure visual thing, nothing more, nothing less. So number six, we have the Jonin Metal Renewal. By renewing your current Jonin Metal during the event, you can get a big rebate in coupons. Renew it now. Um, event period, September 14th to September 20th. Requirements, players must reach level 40 in order to participate. During the event, players who renew their current Jonian medal will have a return of 50% of the ingots spent. Every character can claim this event rebate three times, a total of 2,832 coupons. But you would need to spend 5,664 coupons, um, or ingots. Ingots, not coupons, sorry in order to get that rebate. <laughs> Players who didn't activate their Jonian Metal during the event or are activating the Jonian Metal for the first time will not be uh, able to receive coupons. Who didn't activate their Jonian Metal during the event Oh, yeah, so basically, um, yeah, I'm not sure how to just clear that up, because it, it's still a bit um, ambiguous when it says players who didn't activate their Jonian Metal during the event J just could be referring to people who activated their Jonian Metal literally, like, outside the event, who would expect, um, who are expecting the rebate 
but that's not true. Like just because you have the Jonin Metal at the time doesn't mean get doesn't give you the rebate. It's only if you buy another Jonin Metal during the event. And also, it can't be your first Jonin Metal. It has it's a renewal event, so you would you would have to have already owned a Jonin Metal. For our seventh event, we have Runestone Rebate. Um, so yeah, Runestone Rebate is kind of the <coughs> for the mysterious for <coughs> is for the mysterious cave. So explore the mysterious cave to get Runestones. Spend cave keys, get more cave keys. It's time to improve your power level. Event period is from September the 14th to September the 20th. Players must be level 48 in order to participate. So during the event, players can consume a given amount of key cave keys to receive a rebate pack. Free explore or the cave key time limited are not counted in the total number of cave keys spent. When exploring the mysterious cave, the cave key time limited will be spent first. Um, the cave key time limited will be removed from your inventory after this event. Remember to use them on time. Ugh. I, as I'll say and I'll always say that I'll hate any time limited items. So time limited cave keys, time limited Sealed scrolls, time limited summoning scrolls, all of them I I hate. But they exist. So just be mindful to use them on time. Normally it's just best to use them straight away. For our eighth event we have the battle armor panic buy. So our event period starts on September the eighteenth to September the twentieth. Um, September 18th is, I believe it should be the Monday. Players are required to be level 43 in order to participate. And as you can see, um, you can buy common thread, medium threads, or advanced thread at 30, 40, 40 discounts. During the event, players can buy battle armor materials with huge discounts. By consuming ingots in this event, you can only purchase with ingots as well. Um, you'll also receive an extra gift. Um, ingots used in other events will not be counted. So you must... So it's not a ingot spending event. It's literally how much advanced thread you buy through this event. You can't buy it in the normal shop. That won't count as well. And spending ingots on different on in different events will also not count. It'll only count if you actually use this if you actually use this event to purchase things. And you'll get rewards at five hundred, a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, and ten thousand. The rewards are very marginal. They're not very. Um, they'll not. They'll not be very good. And especially, you'll practically you need a lot of threads, and for how much they cost, it is not worth to even spend a dime on this, really, unless you want to, of course. But for the amount of power you get, it's very negligible. For number 9, we have Battle Armor Rebate, so this event period is from September 18th to September 20th. Players must be level 43 in order to participate. And as we all know, it has three sections. You have the Armor Rebates, you have the Achievements, and the Limited Gift Packs. Limited Gift Packs will be available in the, sh um, in the shop in the Time Limited section. So. Don't get confused with the time limited, um, time limited shop event. No, it's in the shop that we, um, it's in the shop that we normally have, but in a time in the time limited tab. 
So find this event in Hot Topics, get rewards by upgrading your armor to the required level during the event. Achievement gifts can be claimed after you reach the required level of your armor. Each player can only get this achievement gift once in their playtime. Um, new time limited gift packs added to the shop. Tools to upgrade your battle armor. Players can buy cloth and threads at a lower price. Make use of this event to upgrade your armor. So clo um, clothes and thread. All three low, medium, advanced are available for for both clothes and threads. Number ten, we have new packs are available in the purchase limited shop interface. Purchase limited shop interface. Huh. Though so they changed they changed the name, but they used to call it the time limited shop. With which people get confused with the time limited shop event. <laughs> so have a look at the packs. Um, goes starts from the event period is from September 18th to September the 20th, and as you can see, you get the cloth. Sorry, you get the threads, the clothes, the sage keys, and all the time you get the space time tokens. Um, last but not least. Sage key, Drew drops, future coins, points, cave keys, and a whole bunch of all uh, and a whole bunch of items that are just going to be time limited. Once the once the week ends, they'll all disappear. So make sure you use them on time. Um, remarks: Server new server event and weekly events are set according to player time. Um, daily missions and daily recharge event is set to server time 5 o'clock and honestly speaking it's an okay event the great um, Konoha's great tree eh, it's it's a pretty good event for leeching off of heavy spenders because they'll send the world tree into like overdrive that's also to do with the number of players you also have. Um, Treasure of the Sage, realistically um, very unlikely for you to get a good deal, but the possibility is still there. Rubrical Trials, two free events, one spending event, not too bad. Then you have Shop, Shop, well, Time limited um, shop is kind of is a free event. Um, the kind of gift shop is a paid event, paid event, paid event, free. It's to be more on the spending side today um, for this week. So, uh, but I wouldn't say that it's unfair to um, the free to play peer players. You do get a lot of rewards this week. And um, it's just nice to see new ninjas being added. Hopefully, um, we can see these guys be introduced into a new treasure. I do believe it's supposed to come into a new treasure, but I could be wrong. Um, and that is all for this week. Um, I'm Azakai, and I hope you have a nice day.